Okay, you can stay in New Zealand. I want you to join my team. Okay, he's qualified to join my team, eh? Right? Anybody want to join my team? Raise your hand. Where are we, Rob? In Auckland City, New Zealand. The date is February the something, ninth, ninth, ninth or so. <sighs> We're at the Auckland Lantern Festival, where people from all across Auckland are in appreciation of lanterns. Today, tonight is the appreciation day only. It's the rest of it is stores and food and stuff, but today we're only allowed to appreciate lanterns. And I do appreciate these guys. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah, they're gorgeous. You just walk through like a forest, basically. I'm slightly, I'm slightly exaggerating. It's a little park, isn't it? It's a, it's a big park, isn't it? It's, it's all very thick and gladiated. Just walked up this hill. Mm. Um, you just sort of doing this Chinese lantern. The, uh, yeah, on the horizon. Yeah. Through the forest. And sort of like cresting the top of the hill. Yeah. All this. I like the time of day as well. Yeah, it's, sort of it's like gorgeous. It's in the twilight and it's, it yet, but it's dim enough that you can really feel standing out. It's lovely, yeah. It's a uh, good some light. The lottery numbers. This is based on an ancient legend that there was to be a glass ball full of other balls from these balls. There are numbers, and it would bring great fortune to six or seven people a week that a lady with a bowl cut haircut would predict. Um, <laughs> it's really, cool. I find it kind of gross. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. It's sort of, it's when the clock sort of behind me there. That's so sort of lovely and cultural. It just feels a bit horrible to just slap your logo on it and go... Look, it's the lottery. Yeah. Don't you want to buy the lottery? Hey, yeah. It's that gentleman there, this glowing gentleman. He's got a little fold of scratch cards in his hand. Has he? <laughs> that would be... It wouldn't surprise me. It would be in keeping with the aesthetic of, of this crazy. Yeah, there's, there's a Barfoot, the Barfoot and Thompson Pagoda over there. Sponsored Pagoda. Yeah. Chinese New Year sellouts. Mm. But this is nice. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to think anything about it. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at the sun slowly setting. And the light is becoming more and more. Yeah. Vivid and puncturing the darkness. And then look at the fucking lottery number. <laughs> Never forget. Oh, what a what a what! Talk me through. She's in she's in no mood to talk anything through anything. She is. They are cool. 
They're scaring some of the children. And there is a big hatching one and palm trees and one that is doing a dance. Look at that the little face there. I love it. Yeah, see this is what we need, not lottery numbers. It's pure traditional dinosaur. The traditional land before time display. It's not motorised, is it? It's just swaying, I think. No, just real. <laughs> mm. Just looking at each other. So I'm going to give you the signal. Go fucking tonto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's very sweet. <laughs> How are you feeling, Laura? I'm good. What, talk me through it. What's going on? What's going on here? Um, I think they are celebrating money. Nice. And the fact that they are lanterns. I mean, who wouldn't be chuffed to be a lantern like that? There's the proof. <laughs> She's lanterning as we Just speak. Like Fit right in. I couldn't tell what was lantern and what was what was Laura. I just need to eat some light bulbs. We are already effervescent. Aww. Charming starlings of Rob Webster. <laughs> Hippo. Two zebras, overrepresented if you ask me. Lion. Very small lion. And the most fearsome animal. Man. <laughs> Just, the camera is not doing justice to quite how nice the colour how it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Also, a little shaggy dog just there. Yeah, I see it. I really like the shaggy inside of it. It's so cute. A nice little sheep dog. There's a little snail in the lettuce patch. That's quite a big snail. Well, I suppose so. Depends on. And then there's this guy. It's jockey. Serious. Very sassy jockey. With a terrified horse. Betty Boot. And a reindeer. It's quite the menagerie. The horse must feel a bit embarrassed for themselves there. The horses are really tiny. Oh, I see. I thought you meant this this creature. No, that's a dog, Rob. Obviously. Oh. My apologies. It does look like a Pokemon. Someone just said it's a Pokemon. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is already a fairly gorgeous part of Auckland. With all the lights, it's yeah. Beautiful. Look at all these people taking photos on the other side. <laughs> And then posing for a selfie. She's family. I mean, who can blame them? 
just everything is not so much that. Radiant and light and that's ah, cool. So cool. Where are all the ducks? Too bright. Laura. Hello. Where, well, we're sort of heading out of, sort of gradually, just through through many of the lanterns, out away from the centre of the Lantern Festival. It's, um, how has it been? It's been so cool. Like, there's many more people than we expected there to be. Uh, many more lanterns than we expected there to be. Because we can... Fewer roosters than we expected. Yeah, there's only one rooster there. What's been your favourite lantern? Do you have a favourite? I like the dinosaurs. You do like the dinosaurs. Um, but I like the dragons. The moving dragons, they were so cool, sort of exchanging furtive glances. <laughs> Apparently tomorrow there will be performances and food. So yeah, it should be exciting. And certainly, personally, from personal perspective, I'm probably going to try and keep the camera down as much as possible because it's so good that I want to see as much of it with my eyes as possible. I really want to send lots of it back home as well. But it's, yeah, I'm just gonna... It's, it's one of those things that's good enough that you do just want to, certainly I do just want to be in the moment. Just and take it all in. Yeah, and it's, I'm sure we'll take some videos from tomorrow as well. But sorry, some of the best bits might not be, might not be documented. Man, it's lovely. Yo!